I'm here with a new wiki painting and this time I'm going to paint <coughs> sorry, the base of this beastman. I will do like a moody base and then we will have stones and so on. So the thing I want to do first is I will apply uh, quite a moody look, a moody uh, finishing and to do that I will already start with a, a contour paint. Okay, we can start applying a very dark uh, brown, we can apply wild wood or we can apply a zygor brown and I wanted to apply in this case a zygor brown okay, because I have the feeling will give a nice a better finishing for what I'm looking here okay, I'm just looking for the color since that I have lost the color now okay, here it is and we are going to apply this on the base. I don't get if I go over the leaves. What I really want is to give this uh, moody look on the whole base. Okay, and I like to apply this, uh, the stones. We don't need to go over the stones neither. Okay, but I like to apply this moody or this zygor brown because um, this contour paint I mean because it's more liquid and it's easier to go to the different recessors and to be sure that we cover everything so as you can see I go quite generous with the paint and I'm not too concerned if I cover other things at this point right because what we want is to be sure that we have a good base of brown this will be the dark earth of the dark color for the base. So here we have applied. Now we will need to wait that this dries, and once it has dry, I will come for the next step. Okay, once the contest paint has dry, we are going to uh, start um, blocking the colors on the other parts. So I will start with the fallen leaf, and I will give them. Uh, I would say a greenish green or green like this, a striking green. Okay. Because I want to keep the more brighter green for the type of grass we have there. So we have there as well fallen leaf. See this on camera. And to this well, this leaf. So I will do all the others that are a little bit hiding and difficult to show in camera and I'm back. Next I'm going to use mood green to do the glass type leaves. Okay. I want to go for a more bright yellowish color for these ones. Ok, 
Okay. Again, I will repeat the same operation for different leaves as you can see in this one. So I do that and I'm back. Next, I'm going to use a flake one flake to do the a school that is on the base. While the green is dry. Okay. We're going to do a couple of layers as this room is quite dark and I want this to be quite solid. So with the device, set to second layer, and I'm back. Okay, next I'm going to use built and green, and I will wash over all the green leaves. Okay, and be careful not to dirt the helmet that we have played and paint in brown color. And I'm not very concerned on the brown. Okay, as the green will not be visible over the brown. Or even if now you see something, once it's dry, it's not going to be visible. <coughs> so, you can see quite fast, nicely done. Now we need to wait this dry before doing the next step. Okay, next I'm going to use Tayan Sun and I will put this on the small rocks instead of going for grey color that we can use as well but uh, this time I want to use a uh, more a brown color to have uh, more to be more in, in uh, we think stones can be as well in this aqua colors or can be in, in other colors that does not necessarily to be grey. So I'm going to paint, we see all these rocks, stones, and this color is more aqua, Tayan sand, and I will be back for the next step. Once the paint have dry, uh, I'm going to apply a layer of aqua air shade. without going on to the green okay and I will apply it as well on the on the school they want the school to be quite to look quite dirty and on this type of stones okay Now we wait away again. Does this this device before doing any further step? Now the hair why the wash is sorry, and dry. And now we're going to do a little bit of fine light and dry brushing to finalize the work. So I'm taking now first Morphan Brown. Okay, and we are going to do a little bit of dry brushing on the dark brown part, just to put some to show some more details. We are going to do quite a heavy dry brushing. And I try to avoid. If I did the, the leaf a little bit, I'm not too concerned, right? This represents quite a moody environment. So it can happen that the leaves are also a little bit dirty. It can happen, no more likely it will happen. This is why I go. Really 
bad shape now. I'm going to do a little bit of highlight on the stones. Okay. So I will take the messy desert. And I will do a little bit of just edge highlighting here and there. Vale. Okay. This is how it looks right now. I realize that the bottom of the school the white did not go well so I will apply a little bit of character shade at the bottom but it's not really the bottom is at the lower part of the school here okay you don't want this type of I will call it aureola profile next to the ground so I put a little bit more that's what this is solving the problem this mitigating the problem. Since the, the paint trying to get out there, while this is drying, I will use a green. I will use a, a slightly bright. I will use warp lining, green contrast paint. We're going to put this here and there in some of the stones. Is that is really going away, so you want it to fade out. Right here, if you can see, I don't do complete ways, I just put it here and there. Okay, let's go back to the school. I'm going to use no a flat one flash. Okay, now we will let it dry. Now it's much better. 
better. And here you have this is how to do this type of bases from the for the beast grave. This is the one from the Bisman Warban. Okay, it's quite a nice base, and here you see how to do it. That is looking like it's, it's working through quite a uh, busy environment, no? with uh, a lot of plants and so on. So, I hope you have liked this one, this um, uh, weekly painting on, on bases. And that's all for now. So, as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye!